Live 11 CPU monitoring is next level. If you scroll right to the top here and you enable CPU meter, you can see straight away you've got all of these CPU metering options. You've got average, current, and you've got a warning here as well. Now CPU metering was in previous versions of Ableton. You can see here that even though I've got nothing playing, there is activity in the CPU. And that's because I've got Ableton open and I've got plugins and I've got background processes happening. So the CPU is still being used even, and you can see just 10% of the CPU is being used without even using Ableton. And what you see here at the top, the monitoring depends on whether you've selected average or current. I like to select current because I think that's more useful. And as soon as you play the song, you can see the CPU spike. But you can see both current and average playing at the same time. So now if you move to session mode and you select view, you click performance impact. You can see the performance impact against every track. And as I said before, even though I'm not playing anything, the CPU is triggered on some of these tracks. And then you can see it also on the master. So how can we reduce CPU and improve performance? Well, let's just take a look at the mixer for this song. You'll actually see that some of the tracks that are actually deactivated are using CPU. If there are some tracks that are using more CPU than others, what you can do is right click and freeze the track and that will create a sample version of the track and will use much less CPU. 